<laughs> Look at her eyeshadow, it's so pretty. I got the, we both got the Lisa Frank eyeshadow palette from Morphe, but she doesn't like it. <laughs> She's not a fan. She's not a fan. <laughs> she thinks it's, she thinks that, well, it's hard to like put in blue. But First stop is the restroom because we both have bad butters. Oh, this is really cute. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am Milk and this is Milk Astrology. And today we're going to be doing a tarot video for the moon signs. I am on my last moon sign for this series and then we are going to go to different astrology stuff uh coming up i'm doing vlogmas so i'm posting every day or i'm trying to um but yeah today is scorpio moons you guys are last in the series so you waited the longest thank you for your patience um and for this i'm usually just gonna do i'm gonna shuffle for the end of 2020 december 2020 and then we'll go over some 2021 stuff. So the end of 2020 Scorpio moons, I feel like you're really going through it. I feel like you're withholding something that you maybe needed to tell someone. And I feel like you have a, both a lot on your plate, but you're also really hard on yourself. Like I feel like something happened where someone disappointed you, but instead of you blaming them, I feel like you blamed yourself and you like went silent or retreated into yourself. And I also have 10 of wands reversed. So you're not really getting the recognition that you want at work or I feel like the career path that you're going down right now you didn't really see yourself doing um I do think this is really like weighing on you because I feel like not only are like your personal relationships um bothering you in this moment but also your career prospects and you have eight of cups reversed I think you're thinking you're kind of like stuck between a rock and a hard place like I think you're thinking about like leaving a situation or quitting something but I also feel like you want to still give it another chance like you're 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 trying to be optimistic about it however I think you're just in a really weird headspace and I think that a lot of this is because you're not you're not I don't think you're being assertive enough or like you're not communicating enough I also have tiger's eye overcome your fears I do think a lot of what's blocking you too is just the fact that you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and that you're so like calculated and careful about how you approach things that you just don't feel the need to even say anything but I think it's weighing on you so much that it's like you need to say this like it's time for you to say this um I don't think you want to but I do think that you need to say it and hmm so let's see how the beginning of 2021 goes for you Ah. Okay, I'll leave two cards. I want more cards than that. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles reverse. Maybe you spent too much for Christmas. I do think maybe that's why you were feeling a bit of issues in 2020. Maybe you felt like people were putting pressure on you to like prove something or assert like that you care about them through monetary gifts. I don't know. I just feel like there was like a very like weird money drain at the beginning of the year um maybe like lots of taxes or something and then six of wands reverse so again there's this theme about you needing to get more recognition within your workplace that you're just not receiving um seven of cups i feel like you've been very very much trying to reevaluate what you want and i feel like you're just kind of at this point now where you're just like is like what's worth it in my life what's making me happy um are these things worth it but you're just so much in your head that you're not even able to like breathe um and i also have nine of cups reverse so again i feel like there is this sense of like you're so burnt out but you're not resting um i also have eight of pentacles so it's like you're looking there's this theme of like you having so much on your plate but not really knowing what is making you happy but i just feel like you know something's not making you happy um 
I would personally just suggest like the more time you have with yourself to really just sit and pay attention to your intuition. I know that no one has a luxury right now during COVID to just quit their job when they feel like it and go to like a new one. It's not that easy right now and I know I'm aware of that, but I do feel like you're at a point now where you need something to change. And I think that the beginning of 2021 really carries out the same kind of theme that you're feeling right now in December 2020. Um, let's see what's going on with your love life. Um, oh, okay. So six of cups, I feel like maybe you meet someone at work or I feel like there is like a very like intellectual person in your life that you really respect and value. Maybe your partner is like, has a lot of like air in their chart or like, um, Virgo energy, Mercury energy. So you also have two of wands reversed. Uh, I do think that you're feeling a bit stuck. Um, I do think, however, I don't know if it's necessarily that the relationship needs to change or like that you feel the partner needs to change, but I do feel like there is this like stalemate in the relationship or in like maybe someone that you like or that you're getting to know. I think there's like a bit of a stalemate. Um, but I do have like a learning experience is bound to happen out of this two of pentacles if where you invest. So like if you choose this person to continue to invest and in, I do think it's going to go well for you. I also have queen of cups. So overall, I do think that this uh, relationship is very emotionally like loyal. And like, I think that you guys are very much similar in a lot of ways i just would caution that maybe like you're both kind of reaching certain stalemates within your life and that could clash into the theme of the relationship if you're single i definitely feel like you might meet a lot of people next year i'm getting the vibe this is a very like like i feel like you could go on lots of dates next year but i don't know if you would necessarily feel like you find someone that you feel is the one um if that's not your goal then you're fine but i do feel like there's a sense of confusion surrounding what you want to do next in a relationship um and i do think that, that is going to come up more so for the year of 2021 i don't really see anything super dramatic though like i don't see like a big breakup or like i don't know something crazy happening but i do think that there's a bit of just a stalemate i keep saying that but i don't know like how else to say it um let's see how the end of 2021 is going to be for you okay so that's positive the lovers i do think that you guys are two of cups oh my god i do think that you guys are going to work through something or i think you're going to have more clarity about a situation uh you have strength so you're starting to get more clear-headed towards the end of 2021 i think you have more ambition i think you start knowing what you want and what you no longer are tolerating um i do feel like maybe you move jobs or go through some kind of career change entirely like maybe you went from like cooking to computers like i have seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles reversed so i do think like you're looking at your options and you know your worth but i do think that there's a bit of burnout or there's a bit of overwhelm like overwhelming options so i do feel like maybe you reevaluate something that maybe you feel is no longer working for you and i also have queen of swords reversed so I do feel like there is this thing where like you, I feel like you have held so much in and there's this theme of you needing to like go through this huge reevaluation with yourself. It's almost like you're going through like a lot of shadow work next year, or a lot of soul searching um, to the point that I think it makes you a bit bitter and a bit jaded because you've repressed so much that you don't really know how to get it out. Um, I think that the more you're able to sit with yourself and focus on like, more helpful hobbies or interests um is going to be very therapeutic for you um because again there's a th like a huge theme of repression going on i have angel aura quartz lighten up um so i do feel like that is a good lesson um and then i do have azurite get laser focused so yeah i feel like you're kind of like a pinball right now you're just going in every direction but you have a lot of resentment about that and i think the more that you can take reins over yourself and determine what you want to do and what you no longer think is actually working for you and maybe make like some kind of like 
manifestation journal or like uh, you know, vision board or just something that you can organize your thoughts and redirect it into one space and then just prioritize that. Focus on some one thing that you want to do next year. Just really focus on it and put your energy there. I think it could also help you really clear out what you don't want as well um, by just prioritizing what you do want. And if you don't know what you want, focus on what you don't want. Like I think it just will help you clear out kind of more of a clear like vision for overall what you would ex like need to start readjusting for yourself. Um, but yeah, overall this completes this reading. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video tomorrow. Thank you.